Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn another category set of operators. If you go to the overview and if you go to the operators list, so we have learned about the multicast operators, we have finished those things, and we will learn about this another type of operators that is nothing but error handling operators. So, what is this error handling operators? As you already discussed, so if an observable up to now we have seen the observable which is sending the data okay which is emitting the value successfully but if any problem comes that means if any error comes in the observable so it will throw an error automatically we will be catching that one in the error right so for that one also we are having some separate set of operators those are nothing but error handling operators okay so what is this error handling operators so if an observer encounters an error if an observable encounters an error we can handle that error through these error handling operators out of those operators first one is the catch error operator normally what i can say is normally two things we can do in while when, while encountering the error so one way is for example if an error has occurred so we will just show the error something has happened or otherwise what we can do the second option is we will just avoid the error and we will do some other thing okay something like uh, without blocking the code so we will keep that one apart and we will do some other thing if an error occurs so these are the two things only we will be doing if an error occurs just stop the just stop the execution and show the error or otherwise if an error occurs just avoid that error and execute some other code or something like bypassing that error okay we will be doing only do these two things only so using this catch error we can do these two things so bypass uh, bypass the error and also we can throw the error for example normally let's try to see it in the practical normally if you try to see here let's create an op, uh, component catch error op component i will show you the errors and afterwards you will see about this catch error operator how we can use this catch error operator so let us create catch error operator for the time being what i will try to do is in the operators.component.html i will create catch error here operator catch error and here i can write catch error okay and let's go to the approuting.module.ts and here i will write catch error this is the routing and let's hope that it has been created so catch error copper component now let's go to this catch error component.ts implementation now here let's assume that i have an observable okay let's source dollar is equal to new observable so it will receive an observer and here i will send the data something like dot next of one okay and another one is two and afterwards observer will throw an error okay so let's think that observer has thrown an observable has thrown an error error occurred or something with a text now let's see let's assume that we have an source dollar dot subscribe we have an observe observer now we will be having next okay so here you will be having a data and here we can do the console dot log of data okay so this is the first option now if you try to see the output let's go to the rxjs basics and in this one operators first one last one is a catch error if i click here so we got one two an error occurred we got an error here so we can catch this error by mentioning something like error so next one we have a second parameter in the observer error and we can do the console.log error okay so in order to log anything or anything so you can do the error okay so if you try to see the output so we will be able to show the error occurred okay without any error symbol or anything so if you want to do any log or anything you can do it here now where this catch error will come okay so where this catch error will come so here we have did the basic thing right so what this catch error operator will do so if you try to read this catch error operator catches errors on the observable okay it will catch the error from the observable to be handled by returning a new observable okay 
so now if a error has been caught by the catch error in the observable means in the place of that observable it will return a new observable it seems or throwing an error if uh, if you want to throw an error you can throw an error so that means here what is happening is here now the observable is literally stopped so throwing an error if you have a complete method here so if error has occurred so you will not able to print the complete so here we will be not able to print the complete so here i will be showing you so if i try to do console.log complete okay we cannot we cannot do the we cannot print the complete here why because so complete will not execute why because error has error has executed so that is the reason complete block is not executing but using this catch error so what what they are trying to tell is in this catch error if you want if you want to send a new observable in the place of the observable so if an error occurred so you can send the observe new observable using this catch error they are saying or otherwise if you want to send the error means you can send the error so if you try to see the syntax catch error and it has a selector selector is nothing but a function that takes arguments error whatever the error ha that has came from the observable so that will take the as an argument and uh, and caught caught is the second parameter so that is nothing but the source observable whatever the observable source observable you are having so that will be coming uh, that will be coming as an parameter second parameter caught in case you would like to retry that observable by returning it again so you can use this caught variable so in case if you want to retry that same observable again whether observable is written by the selector we will use it to continue in the observable chain so now here let's see the marble diagram if you try to see the marble diagram here you are having the source observable it is emitting the value a b and it thrown it has thrown an error it will be catch caught by a catch error okay it will it is passed through the catch error and this catch error what is doing is so if an error occurred immediately it is sending another observable to this so that the output observable will not stop so now a b error occurred so catch error responded so when catch error is responded it is sending instead of from the source value you are sending another observable so that 1 2 3 is printing and again the complete as a uh, complete is executed so that the output observable never knows that source observable has encountered the error okay so this is the use of this catch error so that means here we are avoiding the error to execute our pro, uh, to execute our logic smoothly so we are avoiding this error uh, we are avoiding this error and we are executing the observable so that uh, we are passing our own observable or some other logic okay so this is the catch error the here you will be able to see this operator handle errors but forwards along all other events to the resulting observable if the source observable terminates with an error it will map that error to a new observable subscribe to it and forward all of its events to the resulting observable okay let's try to see it in the practical implementation if i go here in the same example so here we are having an error okay the so the source observable has encountered error now what i can do is i can do here in between this one i can add a catch error okay and you will get two parameters as we know error and the caught caught is nothing but the source observable okay so i can add it like this so now if you want if you now if you uh, if you want to return new observable i can return something like of 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 okay i can i can return the new observable instead of this old observable so let's try to see here so here we got a source dot pipe catch error right so i want to send here one second let's try to add it catch error okay so in this catch error you will have an error okay let's try to write like this in this error i am returning of 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 okay of of 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 okay so i am returning new observable which emits the values 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 now if you try to see here what could be the expected output so it is subscribed to the source observable source observable is sending 1 comma 2 so 1 2 value or otherwise we will change it as a sorry a comma b now the source observable is sending the values a comma b and immediately so source observable has emitted the error error now the catch error will catch this error and it will send instead of the source observable values it will send this observable values so that 
the output what could be it is printed a b and the observable here 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and it will call the complete so the error error method will not be called in this scenario let's try to see the output if you try to see the output if i refresh this page what could be the output here a b has been printed which is coming from the source observable and 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 is coming from the catch error observable and we are and it is calling the complete at the end now the user the user cannot be able to know that error has occurred in the source observable we are bypassing this error and we are doing on own logic by sending 1 2 3 4 as a new observable so this is the use of this catch error or otherwise in scenario such that if you want to throw an error means you can throw you can throw error something like for uh, uh, what is this error so what is the wh whatever you want you can you can throw the error okay now if you try to see here what will happen the same output but you will be having new error what is this error so this error is printed to be sent to the error module here okay so catch error we can use this catch error to bypass send a new observable or otherwise you can just forward the error whatever the error occurred you can forward this error also so whatever the error occurred you can forward this error also not a problem so now if you try to see again you will get an output that whatever the source observable has passed the error it is passing through the it is passing to the here subscribe method also now what i can say is we have an another uh, what i can say here we are having another parameter that is cot if you want to uh, return cot okay if you call this cot okay now what will happen so let's call this cot now oh sorry if you call this cot what will happen again the source observer will go on execute will go on execute and it will be an infinite loop if you try to see the output so it will go on execute this one so it, this is an infinite loop what i can say is i can do something like take of 5 okay i have write take of 5 now let's try to see the output now here if it if we write take of 5 means see um, i am sorry here take of 5 yeah let's import this take of 5 now if i try to execute only the five times it will be executed and it will mark it as a complete now a b a b a okay now it is completed so here what has happened we are re again executing the observable the source observable again by calling this return cut so that means what it is happening here when an error occurred by the source observable it is again calling the source observable again like this it is going on going into indefinite loop now we are, that means in the catch error operator we can get second parameter as the source observable so that if you want to call this source observable again you can call the source observable also this is all about the catch error so hope you understood about this catch error if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you